Shalom, Yeshua, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, V'chah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those Le'akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone to Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of Falsai goes back to the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel are your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amaf by the lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, We Are Blessed to Have the Comforter. I'm just going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, we are beyond blessed, Akim, to have the comfort, the spirit of truth, man. You know, to know the prophecies and know what's to come. You know, why the whole world is living in mirth. You know, uh, living in pleasures, man. You know, because when all hell break loose, you know, these same people of the world that's mourning. I mean, that's like not mourning, but that's, that's in mirth. That's rejoicing. You know, they're going to be the same ones that's going to be one of the answers in the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, but they're not going to uh, uh, find their answers, man. You know, because they're going to be walking like blind men and blind women. You know, and us in this truth. You know, the Lord has definitely put us up on game, man. You know, so I just want to do a quick lesson on this topic. And, uh, you know, once again, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemot Shai. You know, and... um. Let's first and foremost get what the comfort is, according to the scriptures. When you go to uh, St. John 14 and verse 26, um, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, it says, he shall teach you all things. Now, it's not talking about the actual man. You know, it's talking about uh, the Holy Spirit, the word, man, you know, because you know, the Comforter is the Holy Spirit that gives us understanding to understand, you know, the, the Scriptures, man. You see? Because when we define a word He, it means, uh, it means it, you know? It's, it's from the Greek word ekinos, and we go right down here to the strong definition, it, it means it, you know, because anybody can pick up the Bible and read it, you know, but to all it is not given is the, the spiritual understanding, you know, which is the Holy Spirit to guide you on what the scriptures are saying and, and what comforts us, you see, when we catch in hell, you see, but uh, this is John fourteen twenty six. it says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, which the he will be it. You know, it shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Right. You know, so the Comforter is the Holy Spirit, and, with, and the Holy Spirit is the Word. So the Comforter is the Word, man. You see? And let's get that to prove that. In St. John 6 and 63, and this is Yahweh Shai again speaking, it is a spirit that quickeneth. And quickeneth mean to man alive, make alive. You know? Because we have been made alive by having this truth. You know, the Lord has resurrected us from this dead estate spiritually by giving us this truth. And now we're uh, living. You see? It says, The flesh profit and nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right? So the Holy Spirit is a word, man. And... We're comforted by the Holy Spirit, you know, knowing the, uh, going back to the accounts to know that our righteous forefathers dealt with the same things we dealt with, you know, and being hated, being despised by these people of the world, you know, um, you know, catching hell for serving the Lord, you know. So the scriptures, is, we are beyond blessed to have this knowledge, man, because without this knowledge, we'll be bugging out. You know, 
And when you go to Ecclesiastes 4 and 1, it says, So I return and consider all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. And right, and who people are oppressed, you know, under the sun, on earth. The Israelites, man. You know, the so-called white men is our oppressor in the heathen nations, you know. And we are, uh, you know, we are slaves right now, you know. So we are the ones that's oppressed, man, you know, working these jobs. You know, the scriptures say that they shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And we Israelites, we definitely worn out, man, from working, you know, walking on this concrete, eating this defiled food, you know, seeing our, our, our people our people getting turned out by Esau, you know, by them worshiping the other guys and being a mole. And, you know, it says... Um, and they had no comforter. See, see our people, that's not in the truth. They don't have the comforter, man. And they oppress. It says, and, and on the side of the oppressors, there was power. Yeah, because Esau, he has power right now over us. You know? It says, but they had no comforter. Right. Because this once applied to us uh, before we came in the truth. You know? When we was in the world... You know, we didn't have a comforter. You know, we were just like Jake in the world without the truth, without knowing who we were. You know, the true Hebrew Israelites. But now that we have the truth, now we got the comforter. And let's just look up comforters, a definition of that. It's uh, from the Hebrew word, nechum, uh, which means uh, to comfort, be comforted. Let's see. Let's look up let's look up comfort on Google. It means a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. Right. It says the easing or alleviation of a person's feelings of grief or distress. And right, and we deal with stress in the society, man. You know? Because by us knowing a prophecy, we know in the kingdom to come that this is not the end all be all for us Israelites, man. You know, we know what's on the other side. We know what's coming. We know that this place is going to be destroyed. And that's another thing, too, what comfort us is to know that it's, it's going to be one day that we're going to see the downfall of our uh, of our enemies, man. The so-called white man, these heathens, and these two-thirds, man, these wicked Israelites. You know, one day in our lifetime, the Lord willing, we party left to endure to the end. We're going to see that, man. You know, we're going to see the reward of the wicked. You know, that's why it talks about, you know, the servant of the Lord is going to rejoice in that day when all hell break loose, man. Because now, you know, uh, the Lord is acting on his word, man. It's fulfilling his prophecy. When the elect start, sees Jacob's trouble come, that's going to be another faith booster. Because once Jacob's trouble come, definitely our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come. So that's going to boost the elect faith, you know. And once that MOTB be made mandated, man, you know, which is the Karagman, the C-HIP, the implantable technology that will go in either hands or your forehead, according to Revelation 13, 16, once that be made mandated in America and throughout the whole world, the elect is going to be rejoicing, man, because that's that's finally, we're going to have to, we want, we, Lord, Lord, we those men, we're not going to have to work no more. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't have to worry about bills and none of this shit, man. You know? So, you know, kind of all joy, Akim, that, you know, yeah, we catch a lot of hell in the truth, but the Lord gave us the truth to why we catch hell, you know? It's just part, it's, it's just the condition of the battle, man. But uh, this is uh, Matthew 5 and, uh, let's see, or oh, Matthew 11, I'm sorry. Matthew 11 and verse, let's see, no, is that 12? No, 13. Matthew 13 and, um, let's see. Yeah, Matthew 13 and 16, this is how Shah speaking. It reads, well, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. So, yeah, so once again, we are blessed because this when the Lord, Yahweh Shah was speaking to his disciples. Because they were part of the elect, excluding Judas Iscariot. You know, they were part of the elect. 
you know. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking to him, but this applies to the elect today as well. You know, the elect is beyond blessed to be able to see spiritually, to see the truth, and to hear and understand and comprehend the truth, man, and to receive the whole world. You see, the uh, uh, the, the bitter and the sweet. It says, verse 17, For verily, which means truly, I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them. And right, and who are the, you know, our righteous forefathers, man? You know, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all the righteous prophets, they desire to see all the prophecies come and pass, man, to see the kingdom of heaven, you know, to see the Lord bringing judgment on these heathens. You know, they desire, they, they desire to see those things, but in their lifetime they didn't see them because it wasn't time yet. For those prophecies to be fulfilled that the Lord showed unto them, that the Lord showed unto them. You see? It says, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them, man, right, which are the prophecies, man. You know, because the Lord was will reveal, you know, heavy prophecies unto to the prophets. You know, and at that time they wrote them down, you know, but they didn't get to see those prophecies come and pass in their lifetime. At that time, you know, but the prophets now, which, you know, the prophets come back in a, in a lot in the reincarnation, you know, so really the prophets of old is back, you know, and, you know, because it's good to say that the, uh, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. So if you are a prophet in your past life, you're going to come back in your next lifetime and prophet as well. So really, the you know, um, the prophets is seeing basically really seeing what they wrote down because they came back in the reincarnation to you know see the prophecies kind of pass you know we don't know who we are you know but lord when we are of that number we are of the elect you know to 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 finally make it all the way to the end to be delivered you know so so yeah like when that was pretty much it you know i just want to make a quick lesson on that you know we are you know, blessed to have the comfort, man, the spirit of truth, man. You know, while the whole world is rejoicing right now, you know, in mirth, you know, but when all hell break loose, man, you know, knowing this truth, you know, we're really going to be high valuable, man, because we know the prophecies, you know, and, and humbly speaking, you know, so. <clears throat> so, yeah, I can. Uh, so with that. I want to give all praises and glory to, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelia Akim. Let's preach the word in all truth and sincerity. Shalom.